Today I wanted to make a quick video letting you guys know about the new Brave search engine. So Brave, the makers of the Brave browser, they now have a search engine. They've actually had it for a while. They've been testing it privately. There's been a private beta test that's been going on for a while, but now they've moved on to the next phase, the public beta test, where anybody can use their search engine. And I've been playing around with it for the last couple of days, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this search engine. I think it's going to be a huge success for the Brave team because we need a good privacy focused search engine out there. And that's what the Brave search engine is trying to be. It's for those people that like using things like DuckDuckGo and StartPage and those alternative search engines, you know, the privacy respecting search engines. Brave is trying to be that, but they're taking it to the next step where DuckDuckGo, I've never been a fan of DuckDuckGo for one. I don't like the search results for DuckDuckGo. They're just not very good. The other thing I don't like about DuckDuckGo is that it pulls search results from Microsoft's Bing search engine. Now, if I wanted to use Bing, I would use Bing, but I'm actually trying to get away from those not privacy respecting search engines like Google, like Bing, you know, and that's what I'm searching for, a good alternative. And the great thing about the new Brave search engine is they have their own index, right? Their search results are completely independent. They're not pulling anything from Google. So let me switch over here to my desktop and I'm going to launch the Brave browser here. And what you need to do if you want to try this out is go to search.brave.com. And this is the Brave beta. And if you want to change from this light theme to a dark mode, you can go to the hamburger menu and choose the dark mode here. And that's what I typically do. I'm going to put it back on the light mode just for a second, though, just so you can see what this looks like. I'll do it search for distro tube. We'll do a little vanity search here. And you know, the search results, you know, even the, the light mode, it's very clean. You know, I really, uh, I'm really impressed with just how good this looks, even with the light mode. Now, uh, because I do so much recording of my screen, you know, I don't like to blind you guys watching my videos with a light mode. So I always go to dark mode. So if I go back into the little hamburger menu here in the top right, that of course is the little setting sidebar that pops out. That just tells you what theme you're using, whether it's the light theme, the dark theme, what language you've set right now. That's not even a possibility that is coming soon. Then set as default. You actually want to set the Brave search engine to be the default search engine here inside Brave. So you could click that button or another way to do that is actually go into the main menu here for the Brave browser and then go down to settings and in settings, you should have a search engine entry here in the far left hand panel here. And then from there, you can set search engine used in the address bar. Now, I've already set mine to search.brave.com, but if yours is not set to that, what you need to do is click on manage engines and then you're going to have a list of the main search engines that you could use. And then there is a list of some extra search engines that are possible for you to add and search.brave.com should be listed there. So let's do a search for something and see what kind of search results we get for Linux. I've searched for Linux many times in my web browsers and in my search engines. I'm sure you guys have probably searched for Linux a time or two. And let's see what sites come up. The very first result is Linux.org. That makes sense, especially since Linux is in the domain name. That makes sense. It would be so high. Uh, the Wikipedia article for Linux makes sense uh, also being that high. The third ranking, though, is Ubuntu.com. <laughs> So uh, I think that is unfortunate. Not that I don't, I, I like Ubuntu. I think Ubuntu is a fantastic distribution, but I don't know why somebody, if they're searching for Linux, why uh, the Ubuntu.com homepage is so high in the results for that. And then we have LinuxFoundation.org. We have Linux.com, LinuxMint.com. Again, uh, a specific distro that's ranking very highly in the search results. And then we have CompTIA information as well. I think that makes sense. A lot of people when they're searching for Linux are probably searching for Linux as far as certifications and as far as finding a job. At the bottom of the screen, you have Find Elsewhere, Google, Bing, Mojik. So what this is saying is, hey, these are the independent uh, search results as far as Brave's own index serving these results. But if you don't like what you're seeing, you know, I could click this Google button and go get the results on Google. Now, I don't want to do that, obviously, but I, I'm glad that they're offering that as an option, at least right now, because again, this is a, a beta and they understand that sometimes they're going to be serving up search results that people aren't going to be happy about. And I think that makes sense just to give them a quick a quick link, you know, hey, go get the Google results, go get the Bing results and, and see how that works for you.
For those of you that like to filter your results, you do have some filter options here. It's not a lot of filtering options, but again, it's early days for the Brave search engine. But right now, we can change the location, our country of origin. Right now, I'm set to the United States, of course. We have safe search options. You have three different levels right now. It's set to the moderate level. That's the default setting. If you wanted to, you could go to strict safe search. So that really filters out a lot of stuff that could be potentially inappropriate as far as adultish kind of content and things like that. That's really good for those of you that have young children. And of course, we could turn the safe search off if we didn't mind having some of that content come up in our search results. And then we have uh, the time filter right now is set to any time. Of course, that's the default. But if you wanted search results from the past day, week, month or year, and of course, you do have a custom range that you could uh, also play with there. So now that I've done a little bit of searching in the Brave search engine, I'm going to go back to this little side menu here. And when I click on it at the bottom, I get your results independence, 90 percent and global results independence, 87 percent. So this is the percent of search results that are coming from the Brave Index. So right now, 90% of the search results, I, I guess, are coming from the Brave Index. I mentioned that you know, Brave has its own index. It's independent from Google and Bing and things like that. But I, I'm assuming that the uh, missing 10% or the missing 13% for the global results is the fact that sometimes people are actually opting in to get the results from Google and Bing and Mojik. And at the top of this setting side panel, you can click on see all settings and you get an even bigger list of settings uh, and including units of measure. This is an important one. I'm really glad they have this here because obviously it's based on your country of origin, whether you use imperial measurements or metric measurements, but sometimes you want the other <laughs> that's not necessarily the one that's most common in your country. So that's nice that you can quickly uh, turn these on and off. You also have the ability to open links in new tabs, anonymous local results, anonymous usage metrics. So there is some uh, telemetry that you can opt into and opt out of. But again, Brave is not actually tracking anything they mentioned. Uh, the only thing they're interested in as far as activity, they want to know how many people are actually using their brand new search engine, obviously, how many queries people typically make and things like that. They're not actually uh, keeping search results or measuring, uh, you know, they're seeing what people are actually searching for. They're not interested in any of that stuff at all. Now, one of the biggest things about Brave compared to the big search engines like Google is search engine rankings. Who determines exactly what the search results are getting served to you as far as the algorithms and things? Who's actually tweaking that stuff? And they actually manipulating it in such a way to push certain, I don't know, political agendas, social agendas, because we know Search engines like Google do that. Brave is very conscious of this, and they don't want to be seen doing this kind of thing. They don't want to be seen as manipulating the search results or, or purposely trying to give you search results to push any kind of agenda. And, and they, they've actually got this program of theirs called Goggles that I want to briefly mention. And what Goggles is, there's actually a PDF file. I'll link to the PDF. It's very lengthy, but it's basically what they want is a, a community oriented approach as far as how rankings are, are determined as far as the search engine rankings. And I think that in itself is just amazing. I like that's uh, why hasn't anybody else thought of this before? So the idea behind this whole goggles initiative is that, you know, users, they get together individually or even as groups, they can create their own sets of rules and filters. You know, they, they can define the space that the search engine can actually pull results from instead of a single algorithm, right? There's only one algorithm and who in the hell determines what that one algorithm, you know, the, the all encompassing algorithm, you know, one person basically has control for everything that you get served on that search engine. I think that is not the appropriate approach because obviously one person is going to be serving you the search results from their own personal bias. So, now being able to have multiple algorithms potentially, you know, and maybe you can pick the algorithm that you like. I think that's fantastic. Anyway, I didn't want to spend too long with the Brave search engine. It's still beta, but I wanted to let you guys know because I know because it was in private beta for so long, most people didn't even know that this was coming. So maybe give it a try. Those of you that are using the Brave browser, go ahead and set it as the default search engine in Brave. I think you'll be impressed with the search results. I've started using it. I've also started adding uh, the Brave search engine, not just in Brave, but the other browsers I use. And, you know, I've also started adding the Brave search engine to like some of my D menu screens 
scripts that search the web and things like that, because I, I think this is here to stay. I don't think this is going to be one of those search engines that, hey, we're here, we're privacy focused, everybody come use us and nobody's really interested. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in this search engine. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I need to thank Epsy, Gabe, James, Mitchell, Wes, Akami, Alan, Chuck, David, Dylan, Gregory, Erjan, Alexander, Paul, Polytech, Steven Smith, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. Uh, this quick look at the Brave search engine. It wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. These names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I'm supported by you guys, the community. I don't have any corporate sponsors. If you like what I do and want to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. The Brave Company is what Mozilla should have been.